Welcome back to Muzzle Monday. In this video, we are going to cover what kind of muzzle should we get for our dog, right? So in our previous video, we talked about the different kinds of muzzles, but today I'm gonna to show you some muzzles on some fake dogs so you can get an idea of how they should fit. Since it might be difficult on your own dog when you're starting out, they might be kind of wiggly. So I really, really like the Baskerville muzzle. It's my favorite because it's soft, it's easy to use, and it fits a lot of dogs. So our littler dogs, like our Yorkie, this might be a good fit if it was a real dog, right? <laughs> so we wanted to kind of hang on their nose, but still give them some space to pant, drink, and eat. So this one would be a little tight. What I might do here on this Beagle, or this Jack Russell, um, is I might take it and put it in some boiling water, the muzzle, and then smash it down so it has a little bit more width to it. So maybe if it was a little wider, it would fit better, right? But maybe not, maybe this dog needs a slightly larger muzzle. So maybe I go up to this size, which is a Baskerville 4, and maybe this is a better one, right? So you're gonna have to play around with it. Our little pug friend here, our puggle, is gonna need that orange one that has mesh to it. Um, our border collie here might be okay with this muzzle, right, we can close his little mouth, but it should sit like this. So you're gonna have a little bit of a gap at the bottom, and it, obviously this needs to be totally put on the dog to really get the size, but we don't want it to come and squish into their nose or squish into their eyeballs. It should be a relaxed fit. So again, they can pant, they can eat, and they can drink. Another muzzle option to consider is one for a large snout dog. So this one is not as pliable. Um, it actually has a lot of space to it, and um, it's a number eight for this specific brand. I'll post it down in the comments below. But this would be great for maybe a German Shepherd or a Greyhound. I don't know that we really have any dogs here that it will perfectly fit because these guys have wider faces, maybe this Border Collie here. But you can see it has way too much space here. So we wanna make sure that it's the right fit. And you might have to go to the pet store and get a few and go home and try them and keep your receipts so that way you can take any back that are not a good fit. Let me give you a real life example with a real dog. So Curly's gonna put his face in here <laughs> and you'll be able to see, I'll give him some cheese to do it. Here, bud. Right here. Good. Put the cheese in here and let him try it on. Good boy. He's really excited about the cheese. You can see how it would fit, right? If you take a moment, right? If you take a quick snapshot, you can see how it'll fit. But you can see why it would be difficult to size on your own dog if you haven't worked up to this point. Good job, buddy. Picking the right kind of muzzle can be difficult. So don't give up. Try a few and return any that are not the right fit. When you introduce it to your dog for the very first time to see if it's a good fit, make sure to put some food with it. Um, obviously don't touch the muzzle with it if you plan on returning it, but pair it with food so you can see if it's a good fit. Get as close as you can. Even if you buy one that's just gonna be a training one, it's not actually gonna fit properly, that's a-okay. Sometimes I'll start with a much larger one because the dog is worried about it. So if it's really big, maybe they're a little less worried. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. I'd be happy to help you. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to give it a like and share it with someone who also needs to teach their dog how to happily wear a muzzle. 